Hi, everybody. I'm at a different height than usual. I didn't want to set up my, my tripod. <clears throat> so I thought I would share with you something I just was working on. This little pretty card here. Mm, the lighting in here doesn't do it justice. But when we flip down, I'm going to show you how to make this card. I use three colors for this. Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Lovely Lipstick. And then I used the Palm Tree from Timeless Tropical. Hi, Jean. Thanks for stopping in today. So it's very dim in here because it's really overcast today. It's been raining a lot. So hi, Amy. Hi, Linda. So I'm going to make the same version that I made. So like I said, when I put this down, you should be able to see a little bit better. And then I'm going to make another version with Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pretty Peacock. So I'm going to flip you guys down. Oops. Okie dokie. Let me just put you in there. Sorry. Okay, we're all settled. I'm going to see if I can find this on YouTube so I can follow along in my comments. But here's the card I made already. So this ink that I used, I used the uh, VersaFine pigment ink. So... It's a little wet. And I kind of did it and then folded it. So I'll show you how I did that as well. So let me see if I can find myself here because I want to make sure that I'm in here live. Oh, goodness. My niece just found me on YouTube. <laughs> Isn't that cute? All right. Okay. There we are. All right. Perfect. So I'm in the field of view at least. So now I know where I need to be. Okay. So one other quick note, I um, dropped my phone some time ago. This is just totally me off topic. And I switched out the glass just now because I was trying to, <laughs> I thought the top glass was cracked. We'll come to find out my phone glass is cracked. So I'm really hoping it holds on because if not, I'm in some major trouble because I have no other phone. <laughs> but anyway, this card, you can see it much better now. So what I did was I started at the top with Flirty Flamingo, and then I did um, Mango Melody in the middle, and then the bottom I did Lovely Lipstick, and then I kind of blended them together, and then I stamped the palm trees in VersaFine Black Ink. So this is a, uh, a similar ink to um, Memento, except it is a pigment ink, so it is really, really dark black. I really like it a lot. It's great for details, but since it's a pigment ink, it does take time to dry. So if you're going to stamp something on this, you have to be mindful. You have to set it and leave it alone. So I'm going to put this up here so I don't ruin it. So I'm going to show you how I did that one again. So I have my three inks out, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Lovely Lipstick. And then we're going to do another one with Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pretty Peacocks. I think those will be three nice colors, hopefully. I have my Versamark. I have my palm tree out, so I'm just going to do the same image for both. And to make this card, what I did is I have a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock. And this measures six by... What is it? Hold on. Six by... Oh my heavens. Should be eight because I thought we could get two out of this. So hopefully I didn't fib. So I'm going to score this at three and then cut it at six. Nope. You know what? I did it the wrong way. So here's one and then I'll use this other one. We'll make this one at six. That one. So we'll do three by three. This one is going to be a little bit shorter. So this is just going to measure five instead of five and a half. So I'm just going to score this at three and then I'm going to cut it. So this one is just a tiny bit smaller, but I thought it'd be fun just to do something different. So again, I scored this in half at three inches. And now that I think about it, is this a real, you know what? I thought this looked a little off. This is very vanilla. I thought I grabbed <laughs> thick whisper white, but no didn't seem as thick as I thought it did. Okay, so we'll start over again. Sorry about that. So I have a full piece. This is much thicker. A full piece of Whisper White. So what I want to do for this is I want um, a piece that I'm going to score at uh, three and then cut at six. So we'll try this the other way. Three and then six. And then I cut this originally at five and a half. So is this st technically still the same height as a regular card? It's a little bit more narrow, but I'm not going to fold it yet. So this one's 
whole. And then I'll use this the same way. So we'll go with scoring at three. And then cutting at three. And this one will be just a teeny bit smaller. This is about five. So we have one that's five and one that's five and a half. And you could even do this little one here if you want to do a little square card with the piece that was left. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, one that I did first. So we'll just do this over again. I'm just going to open all of my ink pads. I'm going to do the darkest color last. I'm going to tell you one other thing. I only have one brush because if you recall, I purchased this brush and this brush, I got these at the dollar store. These are the only two that they had and I just never went back to get any more. So I just keep using these brushes over again. So you wanna make sure that when you're finished using this brush that you really rub it out on a piece of paper or some sort of a surface. And then what I tend to do is afterwards I will just put it onto my um, lint-free towel and I'll just kind of rub it back and forth to try to get all the ink off. So I've used this for many, many different colors. So I'm going to use the smaller one for the blues and I'm going to stick with this one because I just use this with the pinks. So at least I don't contaminate, hopefully not anything. And then the other thing I have is, and I've had this for some time. I think I got this on Amazon a while ago. Um, this is post-it tape but it is a wider tape. It is a two inch roll. So it comes on a roll like this and then you can rip it. So there's also a smaller one that I got. Whoop, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> a smaller one I got some time ago. Let's hope he's going to stay up there. This one is a little littler one. This is an inch. So you could use either one, but I wanted to use the bigger one because I was trying to find or to follow the seam where I have it scored. So as you can see, I'm going to just use this piece over again. So I'm going to just line it up with my, I'm trying to line it up with my score mark there. And you could use purple tape, you could use anything you want, but the post-it tape doesn't have a whole lot of tack, so it's not going to really be too rough on your card. And the reason that I wanted to do this flat instead of scoring it and then doing it or folding it in half, I should say, is because I think it gets a, a nicer, smooth fullness to it when the paper is flat. So I'm going to start off with Flirty Flamingo. Let me just make sure I'm definitely still in because I'm sitting down today and I never sit down when I make cards, so that makes everything a little bit different. So I'm going to start out with Flirty Flamingo, and I'm just kind of rubbing this on the top. Now the Flirty Flamingo, when I did the first card, it is really, really light at the top because I wanted that graded, gradient, kind of like an ombre look. So I'm starting off of the paper, and kind of going, not really a third, a little bit less than a third of the way down. Okay. And I'm just going to, you could use um, a piece of scrap paper if you really want to make sure that you got this clean. But once you rub most of it off, quite honestly, as long as you're staying in the same color family, you shouldn't have too many problems. So now I'm going to go with Mango Melody. So same thing. I'm just picking up some ink, starting off of the paper. But I am going to go up into the Flirty Flamingo a little bit. Okay, so this is meant to be basically a very simple card. You don't want to make this into something complicated. It's not supposed to be complicated. It's supposed to be something easy. The longest thing that's going to take for this is the drying. So I'm just going up into the flirty just a little bit. So once again, I'm just going to rub the makeup brush off. You don't want to be too rough on it because I do notice if you're rough on these, again, they are from the dollar store. They do lose a little bit of the uh, bristles in them, but I think for a dollar, still not a bad deal. So I'm going to close this up just so I don't make a mess. And I'm going to now move to the lovely lipstick. So this is a very pigmenty color, the lovely lipstick. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom. And remember, you can always add more, but you can't really take it away. Another fun thing to do, and if I had this prepared and I didn't just go live uh, willy-nilly, <laughs> I could have also brought in some water, which I do have my water there, but I don't want to waste it. Um, I could have brought in some water and you could put some droplets on. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll do it. Do it for the other one. I'll do it for the second card. That way when I'm done, I can get some more. 
So lovely lipstick is down here at the bottom and I'm just going to go at the top just a little bit on the edge with what's ever left over. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush off once more. And then one more time, I'm just going to go back and grab a little bit of the and just go back over the orange just to intensify it a little bit. Okay, so I think that's be good. So let me just wipe off my brush and wipe this off on my towel. All right, I am going to try to use the smaller brush for the other one, so we'll see. Let me close these up. So again, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, Flirty Flamingo. Those are those three. Now, you can do this part before or after. Just depends on what you want to do. I am going to wipe this off in just a moment, but just for the sake of kind of trying to be not messy, I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink up my palm trees in the VersaFine Black, Onyx Black ink. So this is a pigment ink. So again, like I said, once we're done with this, you really need to be careful because it will smear. So I'm gonna go down a little bit lower. So I'm just stamping and holding. It's great, great, great ink for details though. I really, really like this. So beautiful, but it does stay wet. So this is a great um, ink. If you wanted to, you could actually add either clear or black embossing powder to it and it would really stay vividly black. So for this one, you could add a sentiment. There's lots of sentiments here. Um, I did hello for the first one. You could do thank, thank you, rest and relax, you deserve it. Let's do that one. I have to find someone to send this to. I think everybody is uh, attempting to do their best at resting and relaxing. Hopefully we're all staying healthy and staying indoors and having time with our family or taking a nap. I don't know, something fun. So I'm going to ink this up and then I'm going to put this down at the bottom. I'm going to put it in the middle this time. Hopefully that's in the center because I am sitting. <laughs> I have a hard time stamping. Oh, I was going to say I have a hard time stamping straight when it's not centered. So I'm going to peel my tape off and look at that great crisp line. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to move this to the side just for a second and then I want to just wipe this with my chamois just to pick up this ink whoopsie yep see that look at that I knocked that down darn it it's okay clean this off while I have it one time someone um was telling me about my chamois how dark it was and I tell you I tried to clean it but it does not come clean, but you know what? It's supposed to absorb ink, so it's doing a really good job. And even though the fact that it is really, really stained, it's still working super well. So this actually accidentally fell on there. So maybe I'll try and erase that later, but if not, we'll just leave that as some character marks. So then the other thing you're gonna do is very carefully, I'm just going to take this and try to grab that score line there. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder and really Grease it. Okay, that looks nice. So there, pretty simple. There's two cards. So this one was actually six inches. I think this one we said was five and a half, and then the other one is five. So there's two cards. Now we're going to do one with the blue. Now for the blues, as I said before, let me peel this off so I don't make another one messy. For the blues, I'm going to use Coastal Cabana Bermuda Bay and Pretty Peacock. You could probably also substitute in navy if you wanted to. Navy might be nice, but I thought these three colors would go together pretty well. So I'm going to put these other guys away so I don't knock anything over onto myself. Move this over. Okay, so for this one, let me open these up. I'm going to use the smaller brush and we'll see how this works out. So I'm going to start with the light, medium, and then go to the dark. So again, I have that other piece, okay, and I'm going to just, for the sake of being frugal, I'm just going to use the same piece over again. Hopefully it fits. I'm going to line that up. And then hopefully on this one, I'm going to try and do the water spots. We'll see. Okay, so same thing again. I'm going to start with my brush. This brush hopefully <laughs> is clean. So I'm going to go in with Bermuda Bay to start. I'm just adding some ink. Oh, 
not Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana. And you know what I remember is I inked this one up not that long ago, so that's probably why it has a little bit more, a little bit more pigment to it than normally. So if you have freshly very inked your Coastal Cabana, maybe you could try Pool Party, but that's okay. We're still going to go with this. And with these inks, you have to remember Stampin' Up's inks are dye-based inks. They're not pigment inks, so they don't blend quite as easily as a pigment ink. However, if you do work them, they will blend. Let me put this one away. Now we'll go to Bermuda Bay. I'm just going to wipe this off just a little. Okay. Hope everyone is doing well out there. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. <laughs> well, with my re-inking, maybe I should have done these opposite. I should have done Bermuda Bay and then Coastal Cabana. That's okay. We're going to get them to blend nicely. Kind of looks like a nice Moana ocean. Speaking of, has anybody seen Frozen 2? Because I got the Frozen 2 soundtrack. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. I've been listening to it nonstop. It's amazing to me. I'm not sure if everyone is or isn't a Disney fan. I'm a huge Disney fan. But it's amazing to me how people are able to write songs and make them so memorable that you cannot get them out of your head. It's just so cool. So that's Bermuda Bay. I'm going to actually, I'm going to leave this one open just in case I want to go back and do a little touching up in between. So final color now. This is Pretty Peacock. Do this last one. Oh, thanks for watching me, Karen. Just catching in the comments a little bit. Thank you, guys. I pre I love coming live. Actually, I was trying to think of something to do. And in being uh, completely honest, because I do try to always be honest, I saw this idea from another company that was not Stampin' Up! related with these uh, colors. And then they had a black um, palm tree. It was similar to the one I'm using, but not exactly. And I thought this would make a really pretty card. So now I'm going to try. I'm going to get a little bit darker down here at the bottom with the pretty peacock. And then I'm going to try to blend up a little bit into the coastal or the Bermuda Bay. And then I might bring a little bit more Bermuda Bay out. So I'm going to try to blend these two together a little bit. And also, I know I haven't been on YouTube live in a little bit. So that's the other reason why I wanted to do YouTube today versus Facebook. You can find me, in case you didn't know, live every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. Since we are schooling at home, it's a little bit harder to get on as much as I want during the week. So I have been lucky enough that I've been able to add in a live. I did one last Saturday on Facebook. So I figured since it's Sunday, opposite, I'll do one on YouTube. I'm going to go up a little bit higher into the Coastal Cabana. And i got to tell you one other thing. If you haven't noticed over here, I do have this really nice rainbow forming over here. I've got green mixed with my yellow. Our, <laughs> the Bermuda Bay mixed with my yellow, which has made a really nice green. So a lot of pretty colors on the side over here with this tape. Just a little bit of... Okay, so I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to overdo it and then it's not great. But this is nice if you pick three shades that are similar. It's nice to be able to kind of blend these together. So what I'm going to do, I said I was going to do this earlier. So let me just clean off this little brush here. Okay. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to wipe this off to start. And I'm going to use a little bit of my water and put some drops. And normally if you were going to do this, you would want to have something like a paper towel. So I might absorb a little differently using these type of cloths instead of a paper towel. But I'm going to um, sprinkle it with a little water, sop it up with the towel, and then I'm going to dry it just a little bit with my heat tool. So I'm going to turn this one in the background just to warm up. So let's see. Try not to be too much of a slob when I do this. All right, so I'm just going to stick my fingers in, so I'm going to have to get a new glass. All right, I'm going to just dab it off. <clears throat> okay. And <coughs> I heat it up to dry it.
And I'm trying to move it around because this is our base card. Since we're not doing this on a layer. So I think one of two things happened. I'm not sure which. It still looks cool. I have a teeny bit of a leak there, but that's okay. When I dab this, it is either, it transferred a little bit of ink from that thing I was using instead of if you had a paper towel, it wouldn't have any color, or that could be some of the underlying pigment, pigment between these two colors, but I still think it looks really, really cool. So I'm just gonna do the same thing again. Just wanna make sure this is dry. Let me just dry it for one more second. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna ink it with some Versamark, or sorry, I'm sorry, Versafine. This is a great detail ink. And then kind of center it, just like that. Oh, that looks super cool. Look at that. That's really great, I love that really really pretty okay let me clean this off because the last time I messed it up by dropping that on there and let's see what kind of fun oh you know what I am thinking I might send this to one of my very good friends whose birthday is next weekend she's gonna be the big 4-0 <laughs> and may your birthday be memorable she loves the beach going to different places but how can it be more memorable when you can't go anywhere right you're in quarantine so maybe I'll give her this card I'm gonna see if I can hopefully get this centered now I'm gonna put it at the bottom wow man my stamp and centering is on point today whoop whoop good for me Okay, so I did have one little mini card left. That looks really, really pretty. So I'm going to just do my best to kind of fold this without touching any of the black. If you were smart, not like me, you would just wait until this is dry and then you'd fold it and reinforce it. But what you going to do? That looks really cool. I like that a lot. So that's really fun. So I have one more little one here. So we'll just do this last one and then... What I will do is, when we're finished today, I will send this little mini card to somebody. So, it's really, really pretty. We could do this probably too. How about if we do Blackberry Bliss. We'll go lighter. We'll go with Pool Party. And we need something kind of in-betweeny. Mm, I'm trying to go for like a sky. Like a, a sky that's fading. Because sometimes you get those nice purpley skies and the seaside blue. Mm, mm, mm. I almost feel like I might want to use one of these instead. Maybe I'll do... I'm going to do Seaside, Bermuda, and Blackberry Bliss. So this will be the final little card. Hopefully it's going to turn out. We'll see. Okay, let me move this over so I don't ruin that one. I really do like the little dots on it. I think that looks super duper cool. Move this. All right. Let's see if I can get my water out of the way. I do like the water spots, though. I think that's a really cool idea. So I might have to add that to my new rapport of things to do. All right. So I'm going to go with, just because it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to work with the larger brush. So I'm going to use the larger brush, which is good to know because I never tried this before. So, so I'm going to start with the lightest. So Seaside Spray. And actually tape this to a piece of, um, you know what, maybe I better stick with the blue with this because I don't want to contaminate it. Yeah, I'm going to stick with this. So um, I'm going to go with the blue. I actually just need to get more brushes once we're allowed to leave. <laughs> once we're allowed to leave our homes and freely go perusing things, I need to get some brushes. So I'm going to do a little Seaside Spray. Now, Seaside Spray is a really, really light blue color. So it's probably, it's not the same tone as uh, Soft Sky, 
but it is another very light color as Soft Sky was. So that'll be the seaside. And we'll go with Bermuda. And remember, this card isn't quite as big, so we don't have as much area to work with here. Kind of blending up into the one above and make sure you're stretching this down to the one below that way then the purple comes in now blackberry bliss is a very very heavy pigmented color however i think it's going to look really pretty so we will find out gorgeous grape is a little bit lighter so if you don't like the way this one turns out you could always go with a lighter shade so i'm going to just go with a little bit Oh, that's pretty. Just blending up into the Bermuda. And I want to do a little bit more down here at the bottom. Just so this bottom is really, really dark. Okay. Now let me close this. Because I'm going to attempt attempt to go back and add a little bit more Bermuda, but I want to clean this brush off first. Kind of lighten up the transition between the two. Okay, I'll bring this in a little bit. I love blackberry too. It's a beautiful color. Now. I'm probably going one here a little sooner only because I'm trying to get the blend between the two. Now one other thing you have to remember too with these type of projects is as this actually fully dries it is going to look a little bit different. Okay, and I think I'm going to add just a little bit more seaside. Make sure this is nice and clean because that's a really light color. If you're worried about this you could also use uh, ink refill and you could put it instead of I wouldn't necessarily put it on a block because you're going to get a more concentrated feel but you could put a, a drop of ink refill in here maybe a drop of water and dilute it in the tray so that's another way if you're worried about you could cross contaminate your inks but I'm just going to go back and forth with this one pick up a little bit more Again, this is a lot different if you're using pigment inks because they are kind of made to react with each other. They stay wet a little bit longer, but dye inks are different. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to turn on my heat tool because I thought it looked really cool with the drops. Okay. Oh, got a smudge on the back. That's okay. Yeah, the same thing with the dollar store, Karen. When I got them from the dollar store, they were very, um, they only had a couple in stock, probably because a lot of people have been going there to get them. I'm going to see if I can find a spot that doesn't look dirty with this cloth. Okay, so same thing again. A little bit more in the middle there. So this one, the other reason I suggested using Thick Whisper White is that if you added water after all the ink, your regular Whisper White would get really, really wonky. So this one has a little bit of lift up on the paper, but again, as it fully, fully dries, it's definitely going to have more of a white appearance to it. So that still looks pretty cool. Now I don't know if the palm tree is going to fit. Now that's a little bit small. So instead, how about we use this? I believe this is called a Plumeria, but I could be wrong. You could even put, you could do one that has um, yellows and oranges and do the pineapple. That would be absolutely adorable. So we're going to do this little guy here. 
think that's a plumeria, but anyway, I could be wrong. Oh, wrong ink. So same thing, I'm going to go once more with the VersaFine. And I'm just going to stamp this right like that. There you go. Oh, that looks cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, let me just add some sort of a little greeting. What do we want to say? Ooh, how about thank you? I'm sure I could send somebody a thank you card. Okay, so I'm going to use the same ink again for the greeting. I'll put this up top instead. This is a teeny bit of my loop, but that's okay. It looks really, really cute. So give me one second. Let me just wipe this off because you all know me and the dropsies. Now this stamp set, the other thing you could do as avoiding the black is you could stamp your uh, palm trees. So you could stamp these either in black on white or in black on gray, and then you could cut them out with the coordinating die, and then you could have like a raised um, image on them. That would be another good idea to do as well. Let's see if I can get this back in here. But you could also do, like I said, the palm tree. If you had one, obviously you're not going to do this one because you want it to be black, but the palm tree... You could do this with the uh, hibiscus leaf. You could do it with the hibiscus flower if you had a bigger card that you want to do it with. So you could do it with any of these. And these do, if you buy these together, so if you buy the stamps and the dies, you do bundle and save 10%. There's another, um, another die in here that's really cute too. You could even cut out the aloha. You could die cut that with black and put that a couple times. That would be really, really cute as well. So let me just fold this. Now I have to be a little bit more careful because where my sentiment is. But cute, really, really cute. Where is my recycle bit? I gotta take out the trash and the recycles, but let me move these and now I'll bring all of these in so you can see them. I have one more ink around here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but anyway, so we have, this is the second one that we created together. This was my first one that I accidentally got a little bit of black stuff on, but there are these really, really pretty. And then we have this one. I don't know. It's hard to choose which is my favorite, but I think they're all really nice. And I like the fact of just that stark black with the ombre look and the water drops I'm just glad I brought water upstairs because I usually don't. But I think they look really, really cool in the background because even when it picks up the pigment from some of them, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but some of the colors that it picked, again, I don't know if that was from my towel that I used or just from the colors underneath. It looks really, really neat. Another thing you could do to this that would be totally fun, but if I did it now, I would really want to wait, is if you have this, and I'm going to see if I can grab this without making a mess. If you have... um the shimmer paints in your Stampin' Spritzer. So you could fill this with shimmer paint. Shimmer paint. You don't even need to add a dye to it. You could do the champagne or the frost white, and then you could spray it, and then it would have a shimmery over effect to it as well. So that would be really, really cute. So that would be like a whole nother thing you could do. But again, I definitely would want to wait because I wouldn't want to make my black ink smudge by spraying it since it probably is still wet even if it's just the faintest bit wet. You could always dry these with your heat tool if you wanted to, but at this time, I'm just gonna leave mine to um, relax. Oh, I could have just showed you this one down here. In case you guys haven't seen this before, this is a uh, fill station. And this is made by my friend Lisa and her husband John actually makes these. They're from Crafter Solution. So this is one where you can actually put your stuff in and you can fill it. You could stick your um, the lid on here and the cap here that way you can fill it. It also is a great spot to hold your uh, aqua painters as well. So great little 
tools they sell there. You can make, you can get these done in many different colors. A lot of them you can customize. So if you haven't visited them already, you can find them on Etsy and Facebook at Crafter Solutions. But thank you guys very much for joining me today. Which one of these is your favorite? I'm just chatting a little bit for you to leave time to leave a comment because I am going to draw. I'll send two of these cards out. So I'm going to pick names. I won't do it today, but I promise I will do it. And then when I do, I will put the names on this page and I will do my best to do a drawing live. That way you can see. And then only thing I'll need is for the winners to send me their mailing address and I will mail you one of these cards. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate it. If you are running low on crafters supplies, you can certainly shop in my online store. Stampin' Up! is still delivering. They actually are working in two different shifts. That way there's no cross-contamination between people, so no one's sending you germs. But we are still open. You can shop in my online store, which is RachTheStamper.StampinUp.net. I truly do appreciate all of your support. If you've liked this video, I would love for you to leave me a comment, give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also make sure that you click the bell and that will actually let you be notified when I go live or when I make a new video. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and share this with your crafty friends who might enjoy it. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend wherever you are, unless it's already Monday morning. I know a lot of people watch from Australia as well. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your time with your family. And I'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.